Hello people and welcome back to Maxime channel. Today we prepared a special episode. In today's episode you will watch 20 minutes of strange and unexpected moto moments. Make sure to sit back and enjoy in this one. In our first video we have a completely crazy driver who doesn't care about any traffic rules at all. It's almost a miracle he didn't cause an accident at this intersection here. Biker experienced a really unpleasant situation at a gas station, because the worker thought, just because he has a helmet on, he might grab some gas and flee. Let's just say that Karma paid her a quick visit. Stay tuned. This surely must have been an awkward situation for the biker. It's really rude of the gas station worker to announce something like this on the speakers for everyone else to hear. Biker always fills his gas with a helmet on and he never had to experience something like this before. He takes his helmet off whenever he enters the station to pay, but this time the rude worker went a bit too far and boy oh boy did karma hit hard. It's either the driver got distracted by something or he bought his driving license at a local store, driving in a completely wrong lane and he's totally unfazed by it as well. Biker noticed the phone on the road and someone must have dropped it. He turned around to pick it up but when he got the phone he saw that the display was totally broken. If anyone has any info about the owner maybe this video might help. Getting this. <laughs> Incredible. No. So lucky. Well, yeah, but look. Oh gosh. Oh, Dude, that, 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 that sucks. That oh well. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's somebody's phone. Qué culia, boludo. Ahí lo tenés, mira, el poli empujando. We'll see all sorts of interesting, strange, raging and many more road observations scored on this biker's GoPro. Make sure to sit through this one, because you'll definitely enjoy it. Hello darkness my old friend. I've come to talk with No, no quedó nada. Qué bajón, eh? It's not so often to be sinking in the ocean of a woman's eye. This is one lucky biker. Love is a feeling. Give me when I want it. You said I'm Fijate la madre. Me hizo cagar todo, boludo. We have a random pedestrian who looks like he's overdoing it a bit, if you ask me. This guy is trying way too hard to put up a strong persona, but it kinda looks funny when people do it. <laughs> Era Terminator con pelo largo. <laughs> 
biker caught an intense and a heated road rage on his camera. We don't know what exactly happened, but the legend says that they are still walking to this very day. <laughs> Modo chusma activado. Ya, vamos a sentar. At this point, other pedestrians who were walking by started to notice that something bad is cooking here. They slowly approach the two and try to dissolve the tensions as calmly as possible. Y bueno, ahí llegó la poli. El amigo acá que le sigue bardeando al chavo que está allá de rojo. Uy, cómo se durmió este. Está descansando, ponele. The number you dialed is not in service. It's always an unpleasant experience when a phone falls from your bike, especially if you're at a high rate of speed. Chances of your phone breaking into pieces are huge, but this biker got a bit lucky. Yeah. Did you miss me? Yes! 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 I found it! Yeah, dude! Woo! Yeah, dude! Found it! Woo! Thank you, God! We fucking found it, y'all! We got a room! We need a new one. <laughs> Go buy some merch. I need a new phone. I need a new phone anyway. Bro, all my crypto. Holy shit, dude. We got it, y'all. A phone is a valuable asset in today's day and age. A lot of photos, video clips and all around important stuff is stored there. By losing your phone means like you lost a part of yourself as well. Therefore, I understand his excitement all too well. Hell yeah, dude. We fucking found it, bro. I didn't do the rubber bands. I forgot to do my rubber bands. That was my fault. Now let's go see. Garrett's probably like, what the f, bro? Mikey was just riding around and minding his own business, and then all of a sudden, he entered a huge smoke screen. The driver in front of him had some problems with his exhaust, to say the least. And the biker got all the smoke. <laughs> Quite literally.
Whenever you ride around residential area, you always need to be on your A-game when it comes to stray dogs. They are everywhere around, and most likely, you'll see them in search for food or water. It came to a heated road rage between two drivers in front, and they tried to force each other out of the road over something. A word of wisdom. If you notice something like this going on right in front of you, make sure to slow down and leave enough room between you and them. A police officer backing up onto the road without checking his mirrors. Dear oh dear, Biker saw what was going on and he slowed down on time. But what about that for a move from a law enforcer? Reckless Java definitely saw the biker in this situation, but that didn't prevent him from trying to force himself in front of him. Just when you're thinking your day could not get any worse, this happened. Biker got splashed from head to toes by Biker Buddy. Come on, man. Out of all the traffic, it had to be another biker. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Some drivers never learn from their mistakes, and even if they cause an accident, they still continue to drive as they please. In this situation, a crazy driver nearly hit the biker two times in a short period of time. <laughs> This type of riding is a consequence of a bored life. Biker thought that it would be cool to put his life and the life of others around him at stake just because he was bored. Hello there. Because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I Biker was distracted a bit too much by a more beautiful gender on another bike. Remember guys, eyes on the road before you fold. Cyclists casually run a red light like it wasn't all that much of a big deal. These bikers took it to the tracks to enjoy themselves, but little did they know that something like this was in store for them. Believe it or not, but they ran into a horse on this track, and since the track was too narrow, they followed his lead for quite a while. Uh, 
¡Vamos allá, hombre! ¡Vámonos! ¡Vámonos, vámonos! ¡Uh! ¡No da paso! ¡Uh! In this video, Bike records some rather interesting developments going on. Reckless drivers, pedestrians and many crazy scenes. Make sure to stick around and see for yourselves what is about to happen. It's no wonder that this driver tried to force his way in front of the biker. I mean, just looking to his mirror, it's completely folded in and he doesn't care at all. Maybe he thinks he is that much of a quality driver and he doesn't need it. El amor, el amor romántico. Que numa fração de segundo aconteceu essa merda aqui. That awkward moment when your bike turns off in the middle of a busy intersection. Luckily, the biker didn't get hit by anyone, and all ended well once he switched the engine on and kept moving. In a crowd of kids, huh? Pay close attention at the driver in front of the biker. For some odd and unexplainable reason, he was driving on the left side of the road. I don't know if he confused this country with the UK or not, but this was dangerous. Valuable lesson, man. I had to grow up. That's why I never ask for help. I do it for you. That's something you don't see every day. You know some crazy. I mean, I can't understand for a pedestrian to cross the road on a crosswalk, but to simply stand there like a statue in the middle of a crosswalk during the hectic rush hour traffic is kinda insane. I don't know what that guy was doing. Some kind of freak. With this clip, we conclude another epic episode on Mike's Simei channel. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and perhaps took notes on all the mistakes made by these crazy drivers. It would mean the world to me if you managed to learn something based on these mistakes. If you support my work, don't hesitate to leave a like and hit the subscribe button because it really helps out a lot. Until the next episode, ride safe and stay safe.